Hi, and welcome to the Watson Ranch. I'm Ann Watson, home chef and a woman who wears many hats. I just completed an amazing kitchen renovation project, partnering with Perch, and I have life-changing, life-altering, incredible appliances that I'm so excited to cook one of my favorite recipes on with you today. Um, so we're gonna be diving into something that I like making on a regular basis. And what this is gonna be is a veggie, or vegan actually, taco bowl. So the first thing that we're gonna start with is tofu. And so all we're gonna get going here is cutting this beautiful tofu into some nice one inch cubes that will be super tasty once we get them spiced up. And we're gonna place them in a bowl and try not to let them run away. <laughs> you must be spiced. <laughs> and this is one of the easiest spice mixes because I just use equal parts everything. So you don't have to remember, you can make it in a big volume or a small volume, whatever you want. I'm just gonna make it enough for this recipe. So I'm using a half teaspoon-ish of each spice. So there's cumin. Coriander going in. Chili powder. I do a little extra chili powder because I like a little spice. Smoked paprika going in. A little onion powder going in. And oregano. And then you don't want to forget a little salt and pepper as well. Give that a little stir. And what I like to do, we're going to toss all this tofu with a bit of olive oil. Generous drizzle. And I like to use about half of the spice mix because we're gonna use the other half for some amazing mushrooms that we're gonna have going on in a little bit. All right, let's let this chill for a sec. All right, great, so now we've had our tofu marinating nicely with some olive oil in our spice mix. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna to toss it on a nicely parchment lined prepared baking sheet here. Lay this out evenly in a single layer. And we're gonna put this in the oven. Normally with other ovens, you have to go in and like toss this around a little bit before you take it out of the oven. I'm just gonna put it in and leave it and let the Viking do the work. So here we go. Fifty-fifty is what I call it. It's a 50-50 breakdown of half cauliflower rice, half sticky rice. So. We are going to prepare our cutting board because all we're gonna to need to cut for this is the cilantro and the lime. And we're gonna use our Thermador Liberty Induction range for this recipe. Kind of get that heating up, again, with a little bit of olive oil in the pan. And while that's warming, I'm gonna do the super challenging job of cutting a lime in half and taking a nice chunk of cilantro that we're gonna chiffonade, no, just kidding. We're gonna chop roughly. <laughs> Open our cauliflower rice and pop that in the pan. Listen to that, it's already sizzling, which is amazing. This is another feature of induction that I find so incredible, how fast it heats. I put about half a packet, I'm gonna say this is about a cup, one cup of cauliflower rice. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna add in the juice of a lime and we're gonna Season this nicely. Now we're gonna break out the rice rice. And again, I'm gonna add about a cup or so of this rice. And last but not least, we're gonna add in our cilantro. Okay. Give that a nice stir. I love Cuban black beans. They have a nice sofrito. It has like a little bit of bell pepper, onion. Strain out the liquid and then place these in the pan. And I'm gonna do these at a nice low simmer, number three. All right, and then it's just gonna keep that nice and warm. I'm gonna heat up the beans. I'm gonna do the exact same thing. I'm gonna let this amazing induction cooktop think for me because clearly I need all the help I can get. Let's do a cook timer. I'm gonna say I'd like to heat these for about four minutes at medium. Cook timer. Cooking, done. 
sorted. Okay. Okay, so that gives us time to go ahead and prepare our shiitake mushrooms and sweet corn. We're gonna chop these into nice slices. I'm gonna place these strips into a bowl, give it a little drizzle of olive oil, and then I'm gonna take the rest of our spice mix, put that right over the top, and get my hands dirty. Give those a nice toss. Okay, give my hands a rinse. Ah! I totally planned that. <laughs> Amazing, gonna get the tofu out of the oven. Mmm, this looks amazing, if I do say so myself. And for this, because I'm cooking with high heat, I'm not gonna go with olive oil. I'm actually gonna bust out some coconut oil because it can, it still smokes, but not quite as uh, fast. Gives you long, luxurious hair. I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, that's what you wanna hear. When you add mushrooms to a pan, and I'm gonna teach you right now the trick to good seared mushrooms, don't touch them. <laughs> Leave them. Leave them where they are. While those are searing for a couple of minutes, this is where it's a good time to prep a couple of raw things that are gonna go on top. So I'm just gonna give these a rough chop. I am going to add in now about a cup of corn to my pan. A quick toss. Oh yeah. Now I'm gonna add some olive oil and I'm gonna turn the heat down. All right, I'm gonna just let that heat through nicely while I finish chopping these. Do a couple more quick slices here. Oh, the color of it is incredible. I'm gonna give these a quick little slice. You can, if you're not vegan, you can use regular cheese, but I have a few Cheddar slices here. Again, if you're not vegan, you don't have to go plant-based, but I love coconut yogurt in place of sour cream. And would you be in Southern California if you didn't have something called bitchin' sauce on your bowl? Hello, it's so bitchin'. Okay, so we're gonna compile this now. And then I just use my fingers, and then we're gonna put some beans. Yum. Oh my gosh, this just smells amazing. Okay, and we're gonna grab some beautiful mushrooms and corn. And then we get to have some sort of artistic fun when it comes to how we want this to look. Color across here, some tomatoes. I like kind of doing it segmented, compartmentalized. Maybe that's the type A personality in me, I don't know, but it's very satisfying. <laughs> A couple of beautiful slices of avocado. And I like getting the cheese on there while some of this is still warm. Beautiful. A little dollop here of coconut. A drizzle. I mean, how fancy is that for your weeknight meal? But it was so easy, right? Anybody can do this. Especially if you have amazing appliances from Perch. Thank you so much for joining us today. It was such a pleasure to have you here in my newly remodeled kitchen that I'm so honored to get to do with Perch, um, creating this beautiful bowl that's nourishing both for the body and the soul. And I hope that uh, you'll follow along with Perch. You can see them on social media, at Perch on Instagram, or visit perch.com to find out where your local showrooms are. And you're also welcome to follow me on Instagram if you like. I am at the Ann Watson. Thank you for joining us. <laughs>